Well, you know, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Baldridge Award on today's show. And, and first and foremost, we want to offer our sincerest congratulations to the five organizations that were recently given their Baldridge Awards. Uh, and it was the Quest for Excellence is the event at which they right, do that right. in Baltimore uh, every April. And they receive their Baldridges. And it's announced back at, I think, the end of the year, like in December. Right, right. December, yeah, yeah. But they actually receive them in, in, in April. So let me run through these real quick. We have a, a picture for, of one of the winners here as we go. Uh, the first one was Bristol, Tennessee Essential Services in Bristol, Tennessee. That's from the small business sector. The next is Stellar Solutions of Palo Alto, California, and they're in the small business sector. Uh, the city of Fort Collins, Fort Collins, Colorado, in the nonprofit sector. Adventist Health Castle, Kalua, Hawaii, in the healthcare sector. And South Central Foundation in Anchorage, Alaska, in the healthcare sector. Isn't that interesting? Two of our extant States were each were in the uh, we're, one in Hawaii, one, <laughs> one, in, in one in Alaska, and they're both health health uh, yeah. institutions yeah, as well, yeah, both healthcare. Uh, now the winners were presented with their Baldridge Awards, as I mentioned last month at a special ceremony in Baltimore. On hand to make the presentations were U.S. Under Secretary for Commerce for Standards and Technology and NIST Director Walter Copen, as well as Bob Fangmeyer, who's the director of the Baldridge Performance Excellence Program. Now the Baldridge Award, in case you don't know, is the United States' highest honor for organizational excellence. Winning organizations go through a very rigorous series of examinations, including multiple site visits, so only the best of the best can win this very coveted award. The National Institute of Standards and Technology administers the Baldridge Award, which was begun 30 years ago, I can't believe it's been 30 years, yeah, uh, in honor of Malcolm Baldridge, who uh, was a U.S. Secretary of Commerce under Ronald Reagan, who passed away tragically in a rodeo accident in 1987. Just south of here. Just south of here, right? In yeah, Northern yeah. California, that's yeah. right. So stay tuned for more information about the Baldridge Award. And this particular award ceremony later in the show, we're going to be go coming back to this in a few minutes, Eric, because Harry Hertz, as we alluded to, had uh, an article about how much he loved. And, and Harry was the past director before of Bob the, before Bob Fangmeyer. Right? And he, he's right. still very actively involved in yep. his retirement in the Baldridge, and he has, had a, a blog post that we ran and we'll talk about here in a few minutes. All right. 